So the remnants of Hurricane Ida is going through and we are getting a good bit of rain. We're at two and a half inches so far and it actually filled up my water tanks here. You can see my level is right there. I'm not gonna be able to get much more than that. So I figured now would be a good time to show you the water system in operation. I have two gutters, one on each side. They come down and they drop into the leaf eater there, which is basically a screen at a 45 degree angle and it keeps leaves and stuff from getting into the system. And actually you can see this one up here, I had leaves and it's preventing it from getting into the system. And then I have a first flush system, which is this vertical pipe right here. And basically what that does is that captures all of the contaminants, uh, pollen and stuff like that. And it captures the pollen and crap and holds it in there. And there's a ball, there's a funnel up on the top part up here, uh, right where that T is. There's a funnel that's facing down, and there's a ball in there, and it will go up. And once the pipe is filled up, it will clog up the funnel, and that will cause the water to come out the T here, the this part of the T which is gonna come down and it's gonna dump water in here. And I had a little bit of settling, so I added a, a cut up plant pot in here. Let me move this real quick. You can see the water's coming in. Let me put this back on. So keep my water straight here. I need to, I'll do that after I'm done, done with the camera here. Uh, without that on, you can see I'm losing all the water over here. So that was just a temp fix. And uh, so the, Tanks are connected together underground with the two inch PVC and comes across here. And I have a two inch to four inch converter here that comes up to uh, the bottom part of this is right about here. And it's the equivalent, well, you can see right where the water or the air level is there. And when we reach that level, the water will go over this u-turn here come back down and it comes out over here i can do this without falling and that is the amount of water that we are just it's excess above and beyond what our two tanks will handle and if i had time i should have really got the third tank up and running but that is how the system works to store water underneath here i also have a t that comes out and goes around and comes up here and it goes in and I have a water pump inside. I'll show, actually I'll show you that in just a second. And the water pump, it, I have one other filter in there and it pressurizes. And my main purpose here is going down in this black hose, which is feeding a mist irrigation system for all of my nursery plants. And then I tee off here and I also water my nursery stock in the back here all out of that tank so everything worked very well thinking of a question that i always get on these videos is this particular tank is color and that's fine but that one over there is clear aren't i going to get a bunch of algae and i'm going on three years with this setup and i get very little algae in there but i really really do like having the ability to just look at it and see what my water level is so as far as what little algae I get, uh, the filter system that I have on down the way, it filters it out just fine. And uh, it, it, to me, it's worth it to leave that one right there. It only gets about an hour or two of sun all day long. So let me go inside and show you the pump and the filter. And we'll just get you this video out real quick. Okay, glad the light came on here. So. This is where I showed you where it comes into the garage. It comes over and it goes into this pump. This is a 120 volt pump and it pressurizes this side right here. And there's a bladder tank which holds the pressure so that the pump isn't running constantly. And you can see I've got a little valve here. Um, I can't quite see, but hopefully you guys can see what pressure it is. I'm guessing around 40 or 45 and then we come up to this filter right here which looks like i need to change it and this is my last line of defense for algae or anything else i have to have all of these filter systems because of the mist irrigation system i'm running and i can't have the mist heads getting clogged up 
a person that's just using a hose to water, if you're not using any special mist heads or anything else, you don't need all of this filter system I have. So you can put together the filters that you need for my particular need. Like I say, I needed all of this to keep things from clogging up and making sure it operates because it is part of my business here. So that's it for this video. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, following us on our Odyssey channel, and liking and commenting. That also helps us a lot, out a lot. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.